Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Sri Rekha and in this video lecture going to talk about sets and relations, set operations, representation and properties of relations, equivalence relations and partially ordering are the main topics coming in sets and relations. Let us start about sets. A set is an unordered collection of different elements. Example of sets a set of all positive integers, a set of all the states in India. Representation of a set. Sets can be represented in two ways. They are roster or tabular form, set builder notation. Roster or tabular form. In this method, all the elements of a set are written in a row. The elements are enclosed within braces and separated by commas. Example of roster method is set of vowels in English alphabet A equal to A A U U. Set of even numbers less than 10 B equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Next is set builder notation. In this method, a set is described by some property common to all the elements. For example, B is the set of all even natural numbers. In the set builder form is written as b equal to x such that x is an even natural number. The set a equal to a i o u is written as a equal to x such that x is a vowel in English alphabet. Some important sets n the set of all natural numbers set the set of all integers set plus the set of all positive integers q the set of all rational numbers r the set of all real numbers, W, the set of all all numbers. Cardinality of a set. Cardinality of a set S, denoted by determinant of S, is the number of elements of the set. Now, let us talk about types of set. First one is empty set or null set. An empty set contains no element, E equal to null set. Therefore, cardinality n of e equal to 0. Sec next one is singleton set or unit set. Singleton set or unit set contains only one element. S equal to set 3. Cardinality n of s equal to 1. Next one is finite set. A set which contains a definite number of elements is called a finite set. Set f is the set of odd numbers less than 10. f equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Therefore, cardinality n of f equal to 5. Next one is infinite set. A set which contains infinite number of elements is called an infinite set. Set n is the set of all natural numbers. n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Cardinality n of n equal to infinity. Next one is equal set. If two sets contain same elements, they are said to be equal. A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. B equal to 3, 4, 1, 2. They are equal as every element of set A is an element of set B. And every element of set B is an element of set A. Equivalent set. If the cardinalities of two sets are same, they are equivalent sets. A equal to 1, 2, 6. B equal to 5, 7, 8. Cardinality of A equal to cardinality of B which is equal to 3. Universal set. Universal set is the set containing all elements and of which all other sets are subsets. Universal sets are represented as U. We may define U as the set of all animals on earth. In this case, Set of all mammals is a subset of you. Set of all fishes is a subset of you. Set of all insects is a subset of you. And so on. Next one is subset. A set X is subset of set Y. Written as X subset of Y. If every element of X is an element of set Y. Let X equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and Y equal to 1, 2. Here Y is a subset of set X. As all the elements of set Y is in set X, hence we can write Y subset X. 
How many subset does a set A have? A equal to SIR. Formula 2 power N. N is the number of elements. That is 2 cube equal to 8. Proper subset. The term proper subset can be defined as subset of but not equal to. A set X is a proper subset of set Y written as X proper subset Y if every element of X is an element of set Y and X less than Y. For example, let X equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and Y equal to set 1, 2. Here set Y is so proper subset of X since all elements in Y are contained in X2 and X has at least one element is more than set Y. Next is superset. A set containing all of the elements of another set. A superset B. Proper superset. A is a proper superset of B if A superset B and A not equal to B. In symbol A proper superset B. A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B equal to 1, 2, 3. A superset B. Power set. Power set of a set S is the Set of all subsets of S including the empty set. The cardinality of a power set of a set S of cardinality N is 2 power N. Power set is denoted as P of S. For example, for a set S equal to set A, B, C, D, let us calculate the subsets. Subsets with zero element, null set, that is the empty set. Subset with one element, set A, set B, set C, set D. Subset with two elements, set AB, set AC, set AD, set BC, set BD, set CD. Subset with three elements, set ABC, set ABD, set ACD, set BCD. Subsets with four elements, set ABCD. Hence, P of S equal to set of set null set. Set A, set B, set C, set D, etc. Set A, B, C, D. That is, cardinality of power set equal to 2 power 4, which is equal to 16. Note, the power set of an empty set is also a empty set. Next topic is set operations. Set union. The union of two sets, A and B, is the set of all those elements which are either in A and or in B or both A and B or in both A and B. For example, A equal to 1, 2, 3, B equal to 3, 4, 5. A union B equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The common elements occurs only once. The next one is set intersection. The intersection of sets A and B is the set of all the elements which are common to both A and B. The set is denoted by A intersection B. A equal to 1, 2, 3. B equal to 3, 4, 5. A intersection B equal to 3. Next one is set difference. The set difference of sets A and B denoted by A minus B is the set of elements which are only in A but not in B. If A equal to 1, 2, 3 and B equal to 3, 4, 5. A minus B equal to 1, 2 and B minus A equal to 4, 5. Here we can see A minus B not equal to B minus A. Complement of a set. The complement of a set A denoted by A complement is the set of elements which are not in set A. More specifically, A complement equal to U minus A where U is a universal set which contains all objects. Suppose U equal to physics, chemistry and mathematics. A equal to physics. Then A complement equal to chemistry and mathematics. Symmetric difference. The symmetric difference of sets A and B denoted by A delta B is the set of all those elements which are in A or in B but not in both. That is A delta B equal to set a minus B union B minus A. If A equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and B equal to 3 comma 4 comma 5, A minus B equal to set 1 comma 2, B minus A equal to set 4 comma 5. A delta B equal to 1, 2, 4, 
फाइव कार्टिशियन प्रोडक्ट और क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट फॉर सेट्स ए कोमा बी द कार्टिशियन प्रोडक्ट और क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए एंड बी इज डिनोटेड बाई ए क्रॉस बी एंड इक्वल्स सेट ए कोमा बी सच दैट ए बिलोंग्स टू ए कोमा बी बिलोंग्स टू बी फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट ए इक्वल टू टू थ्री फाइव एंड बी इक्वल टू फाइव कोमा सिक्स देन ए क्रॉस बी इक्वल टू सेट टू फाइव टू सिक्स थ्री फाइव थ्री सिक्स फाइव 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 कोमा सिक्स B cross A equal to set five two five three five five six two six three six five. B square equal to B cross B, which is equal to set five 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 six six five six six. B cube equal to B cross B cross B, which is equal to set A B C such that A B C belongs to B. For instance, five comma five comma six belongs to B cube. in this video lecture we discussed sets and its operations please do subscribe to this channel in order to get notified when i am posting new videos thank you